medium-scale enterprises in our country, because everywhere else, including our own, they ought to be, they are, the main providers and creators of jobs. Nothing will pass your lips and be tempted to touch your tongue if it was not grown in Ghana or produced in Ghana. If we take agriculture seriously, you are serving at least 60% of the population. In the last four years, built 1,300 chips compounds to take healthcare, maternal healthcare, to mothers in the remotest areas. I don't need to be in power and throw Nana Kufado away. At least I'll bring him to see how best we can do the SHS. Oh, how time flies. In recent years, there's been a notable shift. In 2020, NDC flag bearer John Dramani Mahama challenged President Nana Dudanko Kufuado to a debate, but this was declined. A similar request from John Mahama in 2021 also went unanswered. <laughs> the Today the tables have turned. Vice President Muhammad Baomia has extended a call for a one on one debate with John Dramani Mahama focusing on key government issues. I am looking forward to a debate with John Mahama on the economy, on the economy, on the country, on the governance. But I'm afraid that he's running away from a debate, isn't it? His people say he doesn't want to debate, but he doesn't want to debate because he knows I will expose the emptiness of his policy. As you well know, the NDC's flag bearer's response has not been particularly favorable. The person himself says he's a driver's mate. He doesn't have a license yet. So he should work and get a license first. And then after he gets a license, he can come and work. Now, this shift raises critical questions. Is this reluctance to engage in debates a you know, strategic move by ruling parties to avoid scrutiny? Or does it reveal deeper issues in our political discourse? I'm just as curious as you are, but we'll always remember. That's it for Ghana Remembers.